I ended up borrowing $65,000 approximately, and uh, I'm, I'm really, really paying for it now. President Obama traveled to Buffalo, New York on Thursday to announce an ambitious plan to tie billions of dollars in federal student aid to colleges' performance, including their graduation rates. Higher education is still the best ticket to upward mobility in America, and if we don't do something about keeping it within reach, it will create problems for economic mobility for generations to come. The big question hanging over the proposal is whether Obama will get Republicans in Congress on board. So we're going to have to work on that. In Buffalo, people were broadly supportive. But how the proposal would change the situation on the ground is unclear. Me, myself, I've taken out a lot of loans, especially for school. Um, and I definitely wanted to pursue higher education, but it's a little rough nowadays with the economy and everything. And many colleges say that they can't improve student graduation rates until high schools send them students that are better prepared. Nowhere is that challenge more evident than in Buffalo. The state education department has been a total failure. Buffalo has one of the most chronically underperforming school systems in the nation, and their schools are often also segregated along racial lines. That division is reflected in the school board itself. Carl Palladino is a member of the board. The Tea Party favorite and former candidate for governor has called for the resignation of school superintendent Pamela C. Brown. Uh, we have a crisis at hand. The community is fed up with this, uh, with our education system. They're fed up with the results of it. We are working to identify what we need to do to strengthen our programs and to make sure that the children, when they leave school, are prepared for college. The president's proposals would do little to alleviate the situation in Buffalo, where it seems the only thing this divided school board can agree on is that the system is broken. Fixing it may make President Obama's challenge of convincing Congress look easy by comparison.